Yo, what's going on you guys? My name is Owen and welcome back to another video. So for this week's video, I decided to do an updated wardrobe essentials video, basically breaking down the items that I wear in each essential category that I believe everyone should have or probably does have in their wardrobe. And I'm actually really stoked about filming this video because I feel like it gives you guys an insight into kind of like my thought process behind um, putting together an outfit or or just picking out what I choose to wear when I just go out and about and there's a couple new pickups in here Some things you guys have not seen before which is kind of exciting um, And then some things that are kind of like returning from a couple years ago and whatnot So yeah, without further ado, let's just get right into it So the first essential that I think everyone should have in their wardrobe is a denim jacket I have plenty of denim jackets. I'm actually making a denim jacket for a upcoming release um, but I feel like having that one denim jacket that you always gravitate towards is super useful. Um, something that will go with every single outfit, something um, that will stand the test of time, something that you can just beat to shit and you don't really care about it getting messed up. And the denim jacket that I find myself gravitating towards the most is actually this one right here, which is the Sugarcane Type 2 denim jacket. I believe I did talk about this piece a few months ago when I first picked it up. Um, but I've been wearing it so much ever since I got it. Um, for those of you who don't know, Sugarcane is a brand that kind of like reproduces vintage Levi's garments. And since I wanted a raw denim one that I could kind of break in myself, um, this is like the perfect choice for me. It's super affordable too. Um, I believe I got this off of Grailed for like right over $100. So it was a great pickup. And, th and this is actually the same denim jacket that I'm modeling um, one of my future releases on. So you'll see a little hint of this and that. But of course, denim jackets are super essential in anybody's wardrobe. They're a super casual layering piece, and I feel like most modern denim jackets, like what you'll find um, at retailers today, kind of want you to do layering, but I feel like just having a denim jacket buttoned up is such a nice look. It's, um, it's very classic in my opinion. Um, which is why whenever I wear this, I pretty much always had it buttoned up. I kind of realized that. But yeah, anyways, let's move on to the next essential. Staying in tune with the denim category, I guess we will move on to jeans. Of course, jeans are a staple in anybody's wardrobe. Everyone's got their go-to favorite pair of jeans. Um, and I want to show you guys what my go-to favorite pairs of jeans are right now. I probably have around 15 pairs of jeans right now. Um, but I find myself gravitating towards these two the most. And I feel like that's because of the colors. You always want to have a black denim wash pair of jeans and then also a blue denim wash pair. So both these are Levi's by the way. And they are both the 505 model which is um, like by far my favorite Levi's model. It just fits me the best. It's like in between a straight leg and a slim fit I guess. Um, it has a really nice taper to it. Um, it sort of like elongates your body too if you're like on the shorter side. I can't remember where I got this pair from. Um, but I've been rocking this pair for um, almost two years now, I want to say. Um, over that time, you'll see like the pockets are starting to come apart, like it's fraying on the, uh, the seams right there. And there's a gigantic crotch hole that I have still yet to get repaired. Actually, I've repaired it twice and it just keeps breaking. I've, I try to patch it up, but I actually just need to get it sewn completely. Um, and then at the bottom, I've also given it a, um, a what's it called, released hem, which is basically just undoing that layer of stitching that kind of finishes off the hem normally, so then it kind of elongates it a little bit more. And then because uh, I was wearing cowboy boots for a while, it got a little bit of heel bite, which is where this back portion of the hem, or of, of the fabric, I guess, kind of comes off. I really love the wash on this pair. Um, it's like a really nice medium blue, and then around like the knees and thighs area, it's gotten quite faded just from daily use, I guess. Like the blue starting to desaturate and become more of a brown. Um, and there's like little tiny rips and holes everywhere. Um, and the black pair that I gravitate towards a lot um, is this pair right here, again, 505. There's no distinct distressing that's been put in through time on like the pockets or on the knees and that kind of thing. Um, but I have given this pair another released hem. And then I've also opened up the side seam a little bit. So then it kind of flares out towards the bottom, creates a little bit of a boot cut look. Um, just looks nice on like loafers, sneakers, that kind of thing. There's not too much to say about this pair. Um, again, these are super affordable. You can find similar pairs online on like eBay or just going thrifting or just, you know, having a pair of jeans for a while. You'll get the same sort of look eventually. Next, I want to talk about shorts. Obviously, it's summertime, so you can't be wearing jeans every day. Um, I guess it kind of depends where you live, though. Um, but I've recently, I've recently found a pair of shorts that I um, have enjoyed wearing quite a bit, which is this pair of Aleeks swim trunks. 
Um, they're technically swim trunks. They have like the netting on the inside and everything, but you can just wear them as regular shorts. Um, this particular model is like an object dyed nylon, which is a really cool um, process. Um, the nylon has a really nice wrinkly feel to it. Um, it has a really cool texture. It's like vertical stripes moving up. This pair of shorts I just wear almost every single day. When I work out, when I go swimming, um, when I'm just going outside the house, this is such an easy pair of shorts to throw on. Yeah, not much to say about these. This is just the pair of shorts that I've been wearing almost every single day for like two weeks now. The next essential that everyone has in their wardrobe, um, you gotta have this, is sneakers. Um, you guys know these ones very, very well. This has been a signature piece of my um, channel and my wardrobe for years now. These are the 1985 Jordan 1s in the neutral gray colorway. Um, it's kind of interesting. I think these are actually being re-released soon, or I feel like I've heard about that. But yeah, I haven't been wearing sneakers too much recently. Um, I don't know why, but I'm just gravitating towards boots a lot, even though it's summertime, it's kind of weird. Um, I don't know, I just feel like sneakers can be a little informal, and I've just been dressing a little bit more formal recently. 85s can be a real hit or miss. Um, I've had two pairs of 85s now. The other pair that I ended up selling was really, really stiff. Couldn't like walk in them comfortably. Um, this pair I lucked out on. They're super squishy, very pliable. Um, and yeah, I just don't wear sneakers too much right now. But the other pair of sneakers that I do wear every single day when I work out are these New Balance 990 V3s, I wanna say. I think these are V3s. Um, there's like a V5, maybe even a V6 now. This is just my favorite of all the versions. Um, I think the silhouette and the paneling is just the best in my opinion. But yeah, these are just like my everyday running shoes. I want something that's uh, monochromatic, just works with everything. I'll wear these when I go to the post office or just quick trips. They're super comfortable too, besides just looking good. Um, so yeah, can't recommend these enough. Sorry if there's some background noise, there's like construction going on next door. But moving on, I want to touch on some boots. I feel like at least in my circle, sneakers are sort of phasing out just a little bit um, and boots are kind of having a resurgence. The first pair of boots I want to show you guys, um, I've actually talked quite a bit about in my last video, so I won't talk about them a lot, but these are my Vietnam era combat boots that have been resold and restored by Vibram. Um, I did get the sole replaced with a lug sole, which is why it has those nice teeth on the bottom. It just had a normal heel before. Um, I wasn't really a huge fan of that, so I had them replaced. You know, because they're black, they go with everything. I think the teeth kind of make them more rugged and um, more versatile in terms of the kind of outfits you can wear with them and the sort of activities you can do in them. I'm a huge fan of the leather cut laces. Um, the overall silhouette of the boot is perfect. And these are just the perfect go-to for me. Got them for pretty cheap too. And then the next pair of boots I want to show you guys, um, you've seen quite a bit on my Instagrams, I just love showing them off. These are my Carol Christian Powell um, spiral zip boots with the enamel tarnished texturing going on. Um, I've never seen another pair of these boots before. I got them off of Silver League. Um, shout out to Fernando, love those guys over there. Currently these are the only pair of CCP boots that I own in my wardrobe right now but next week I'm getting another pair in. Um, and I feel like this silhouette in particular is so easy to wear. Um, it's got that nice pointed toe, got that nice heel length, and then the spiral zip is such a nice detail. The combination of textures is just so perfect on these. I'm never gonna let these go. Never ever, not a chance. I have been looking for quite a while for some sort of cheaper alternative um, with a similar silhouette or similar toe shape, similar heel and all that stuff. Um, but I have not found like the perfect one yet. So if you guys have any suggestions, let me know and maybe I can show it off in a future video. Um, but for the time being, this one still stands as like the number one choice for me, what I tend to wear the most. Moving on to the next category, I want to do some essentials. Specifically, I want to cover two. One of them being belts. I feel like belts aren't super common these days, at least in my age group and my demographic. Um, but I feel like they're just a really great way to accent any outfit. The only belt that I have right now and the only belt that I've ever needed is this Marcel Everett um, box nail bison leather belt. Um, <laughs> that's a confusing name. It's made out of a bison leather and obviously the most signature detail is the box nail, uh, what, do you, what do you even call it, like accents I guess. They sort of act as belt loops in a way um, where it just loops around, goes through like that and then just goes in between all of those box nails. If you tuck in your t-shirt into your pants, 
um, it's a great way to kind of take your outfit to the next level, I think. And plus, like having that little flash of silver against black leather is just so nice. Um, Garrett really killed it with this piece. I believe he has another colorway too, which is like a gray, um, but this one just works just so much and I would never replace it. That's it for belts. The other accessory that I wanted to mention um, are bags. I believe in the last Essentials video that I did, I talked about tote bags, and I still have those bags that I talked about in that last video, but the bag that I have been wearing every single day now is this one from L.L. Bean. This is the boat bag, and I believe it's the, this is the second largest size they offer with the longer strap. These are so rugged, um, and it's so cheap too. I believe this is like $30 maybe, if even that. Um, and I did get custom embroidery done on the side right there. You can embroider whatever you want in many different fonts, and this is just such a great pickup. I have three different versions of this bag, all the same size and strap length, but I just have different colors. Um, I have a red one, I have a brown one, and I have this black one. Held up great over time and cost effective, so I can't recommend this enough. Moving on to the next essential, Obviously everyone has this in their wardrobe, but I want to talk about t-shirts and I want to show you guys the three t-shirts that I wear the most, basically the only t-shirts that I wear right now. The first t-shirt I want to show you guys is this one right here. This is from the original Arizona Jean Company. I didn't really know this was going to become my favorite t-shirt. At the time it was just a black basic t-shirt and it does have double stitch sleeves, which is like the only downside to this piece, I guess. Um, it is clearly a vintage item based off that tag. Um, and I'm guessing it's from the late 90s, early 2000s. Um, but the fade is perfect, black t-shirt, you can't go wrong. I just love the paint splatter on it. Wasn't really planned in any sort of way, it just kind of happened and now it's like my most worn t-shirt. Um, it's in a lot of my Instagram photos just because it's so easy to wear and it fits me right. Another t-shirt that I've had for quite a while, which is also a vintage t-shirt, is this vintage Cradle of Filth t-shirt. It's got this really beautiful print of Medusa with these green eyes, snake hair, all that good stuff. Um, and I love the typography, by the way. Logo is amazing on this. Um, and on the back it says, Sedusa of Ravens and Angels. I've had this t-shirt for um, a little over a year now, and it's just such a great piece. It's a little bit, obviously it used to be black, but now it's gray. And I think having a good band tee, or like a good vintage band tee, is kind of an essential in everybody's wardrobe. I love this tag, by the way. Hopefully the camera can pick that up. 100% cotton, extra large. That's all that's on it. Um, really badass tag. And then finally, what basically makes up the rest of my t-shirts and my wardrobe besides like vintage band tees and that kind of thing are just plain black Uniqlo tees. Um, you can buy them in a pack. Uh, Supima cotton, so they're really high quality. Uniqlo always has great quality. Um, and their t-shirts are just kind of almost unbeatable in a way if you're just looking for that basic black t-shirt. The next essential that I want to talk about are casual pants. Um, talk about jeans, talk about shorts, but I feel like there's sort of an in-between um, where casual pants fit in. This could be anything from sweatpants to just um, basic trousers. And one pair of casual pants that I just gravitate towards so much, especially when I wear boots, are these Marcel Everett Tech Suit Nylon Trousers. Um, I believe he released these quite a while ago. Um, I really love this nylon blend. It's such a great texture and such a great material. It's, a, it's the perfect suit trouser without looking too formal, I think. It's got a great slim fit. You guys will see what it looks like in the on body. Um, it's got that classic Marcel Everett 3 belt loops on the back right there. It's very signature to his brand. And then the other pair of casual pants um, that I wear super frequently are these Carhartt double knees. I don't really know much about like what year these are from. I haven't checked out the tags or anything. Um, these do appear on the older side just by like how faded the tag is. Um, I really love the fade. These normally come in more of like a richer brown, I guess. I bought them used and they just have great wear and tear put into them already. And I've also given it the released hem, which now has a heel bite, totally by accident. And yeah, you can find these online for dirt cheap, probably between like 30 and $40. The last essential that I want to talk about for this video um, that I feel like everyone should have in their wardrobe, and I've been on the hunt for for a while now, didn't know exactly what kind of route I wanted to go in terms of the style or the silhouette, but I ended up picking up one of my all-time grail items, um, so I feel like it kind of fit perfectly into this video, um, and it is this Carol Christian Poel scar stitched horse leather jacket, um, the classic model that, that CCP is known for. Um, and yeah, this is just like the god tier leather jacket in my opinion. There are some really great vintage alternatives that you can find. But since I've wanted this piece for a while and I wanted something that's gonna 
last me my entire lifetime. I think this is a great route to go in. Um, coarse leather, so it's extremely, extremely thick. Um, not great for summer right now, but um, I might have to break it out a couple times here and there. It's got the staple fasteners in the front. It's got a zipper right there. This is, I believe, object dyed. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I'm not too knowledgeable in the process for this piece. I believe that's why it is green on the inside, just from the dye. And I did get a great deal on this piece too. I got it brand new. I don't think I mentioned that. I got it for a great discount. Um, and I believe this is a discontinued silhouette too. Correct me if I'm wrong. The last one they had available. Uh, it's just such a great piece. Um, I think it fits great too. In terms of pockets, the only two that it has are in the front right here. It has a really interesting shape where the zipper goes straight, but then the panel actually cuts in. It has a little webbing that cuts across. So it has really nice ease of access to get in. The zippers are great quality, super heavy duty and thick. Um, the leather is just amazing. It's so buttery. It's like the softest leather I've ever felt. And the construction is amazing too. You guys can see the back paneling going on there. And then there's also some really interesting construction on the elbow. I'm hoping to snag some other colorways in the future. Um, but I'm extremely happy with black for the time being. And that wraps up my updated wardrobe essentials. Um, let me know what you guys thought down in the comments below. Let me know what some of your essentials are too down in the comments. We'll have a little discussion going. Um, and yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.